us here tonight know the hardships that Preston faced uh, back in Oklahoma in the 20s. I've spoken about those humble beginnings a time or two in the past. There was an obstacle for Preston, perhaps, perhaps even greater than the Great Depression or World War II in what he would do with his life. And I've never mentioned it before, but for him it was the allure of the starving artist. In the second grade at Washington Irving, I saw President I, I saw President's eyes light up uh, when he read a book called Abs a Gave Man. He, it could have led him to a lot as an author and writer. In the fourth grade, now at Whittier Elementary School, his ability to draw and sketch might have foretold of a Garrett in Paris or Montmartre with an easel on a sidewalk there. Now in the sixth grade, at Whittier still, his enthusiasm for acting the part of a soldier guard was only slightly dimmed by teacher Miss Tuck's admonition to Preston Wipe that smile off your face, Preston. After all, his future turned out to be more of the romantic lead than that of, say, a Roman soldier. Fortunately for many of us here tonight who have benefited directly from Preston's self-sacrifice, loyalty, hard work, and generosity, he took the road more traveled and became a successful husband, father, developer, and businessman that we see here before us tonight. Thank you very much. Well, Preston, what a great day. And uh, Frank and I are here to congratulate you from your Thursday group, uh, that wonderful group that you founded like 25 years ago. Many of us on the right. Yeah. That's Jack and me. <laughs> Some on the left. Uh, all of us come together once a month to discuss public issues and public policy. Preston put it together, and Jack and I are so grateful for our friendship, your friendship, and our ability to talk, debate, discuss together. That's right. And we're particularly proud of you, finally, after 84 years, graduating from high school. You know, uh, I've only known you 25 years. I consider that to be just the equivalent of your senior year. Is that right? <laughs> I'll even help sign the diploma. <laughs> you talk about well-deserved. And there isn't a greater Oklahoman than Will Rogers, and there's not a greater former Oklahoman, and you can't take Okie out of the man, than Preston Carruthers. We really love you. Right. <laughs>